After clicking on the sales module, the left hand navigation bar updates giving us access to items pertaining to sales. For many companies, the sales process begins with leads. Generally, leads are companies and contacts that may have been met at a trade show or purchased in bulk through a marketing list, but are not yet qualified as a customer. Leads and other objects can be imported into Microsoft CRM through its data import wizard and can then be cold called, emailed, or can be targeted in a campaign. Through the lead form, we can track basic details of the account or contact, and once again, we are given a set of default fields which can be expanded upon to match the needs of our business. The lead offers a very easy way to qualify the prospect and move forward with the sales process, or disqualify the prospect and keep them out of your contact and account data. Through Dynamic CRM's workflow engine, a business analyst can easily set up logic to automatically create phone calls and other activity types, and this drives the lead qualification process forward. These activities can be automatically assigned to your sales team based on logic within the workflow. Within this automatically scheduled phone call activity, the workflow has dynamically pre-populated information so I know exactly where the lead came from and what to ask them on the phone call. During the phone call, I can add notes which carry a stamp of the time and date the note was created as well as the user who created them. I'll create one node now. So you can see this has been time and date stamped by my user. After I finish the call, I can click Mark Complete and the activity will be moved into the closed activities area of the lead. Now that I've finished my phone call, I can qualify the lead from the lead ribbon. This will trigger the convert lead screen to pop up. From here, I can tell it that I want to qualify the lead as a potential customer and convert the lead. I can at this time choose to create from the lead an account to track company information, a contact to store the primary contacts information, and an opportunity to start building a sale against. From here, the lead will become inactive and will be made read only, living on in the system solely for reporting and history tracking purposes. The lead data now lives among the account, contact, and opportunity records that were created. The next stage in the sales process is in the opportunity. I'm going to jump over to an opportunity that I already have populated with some information. Opportunities are a place where we can store potential sale information for a customer. I'll open an existing opportunity with the basic company account that we looked at earlier. In the header of the opportunity, we can see the potential customer, the estimated revenue, and the estimated close date. In the footer, we can see the status and pipeline phase of the opportunity. These sections can be easily edited and will follow us no matter where we are on the form. The opportunity can be given a fixed expected revenue amount, or this can be calculated from line items that are tied to the opportunity from the product catalog. I'm going to change the revenue model here from user provided to system calculated, and then I will add a line item to demonstrate this. When I change the revenue type, the estimated revenue resets to $0. This is because I have no line items attached. When I click into the line item area, notice that the ribbon updates to give us access to line item actions. I'll now add a line item of six premium bike chains to the opportunity.
Once back on the Opportunity screen, I click Recalculate Opportunity, and this will update the amounts based on my current price list and the product line items attached to the Opportunity. Workflow can be configured to help drive the Opportunity forward. For instance, the opportunity could have a sales stage drop down that when it is updated schedules sales tasks and sends email notifications to internal users or the customer. If I click into the activities area, I can see that some sales tasks have been automatically set up for me. The workflow engine of Microsoft CRM is extremely powerful and can be manipulated to fit nearly any business. After the opportunity has progressed far enough, you will likely want to generate a quote to send to the customer. If I click on the quotes jump list, it will take me directly to the quotes area of the opportunity form. I'll now generate a quote from the opportunity. The quote automatically maps fields from the opportunity so that no duplicate entry is required. From the ribbon, the quote can be printed for the customer. We can also run a customized SSRS report, which can be sent to the customer as a PDF, Excel, or Word document. When the quote is ready, we can activate it through the ribbon. From here, we can create orders and invoices. The order and invoice levels are very similar to that of the quote, so I'm going to move over to show some quick reporting to tie up this demonstration. Inline reporting can be added to any list view in Microsoft CRM. I'll change the opportunity view or filter set from showing my open opportunities to showing all active opportunities to demonstrate this. We can now see all of the open opportunities in the system. First, I will expand the chart view. I now have access to all of the opportunity related charts configured in the system. I can quickly view forecasting metrics such as our top customers by their total estimated revenue or a sales pipeline funnel chart showing the volume of sales in each sales stage. All of these charts are drill down, so if I'd like to see the opportunities in the qualify stage split up by salesperson, I can do that. To do this, I simply click the area I want to drill on, in this case, to qualify. I tell it that I want to view the data split up by owner and that I want to see it in a pie chart. I click OK and it'll graph it for me. Notice that as I drill, the data in the left-hand pane drills along with me, filtering the list to the specific data I'm looking at. Through the ribbon, additional charts can be quickly created on the fly and can be shared out to fellow coworkers. I'll set up a quick chart now to display the total estimated revenue split up by the probability of the opportunity closing. I'll select estimated revenue, telling it to sum, and probability. Next, I'll tell it how I want to view the data. And then I can just hit save and close. And now I've quickly and easily set up a chart that shows me estimated revenue by probability. If I change the filter set, the chart will change along with me. This concludes the XRM demonstration of the Microsoft Dynamics CRM sales module. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.